Review technology, real-time feedback in the viewport enables you to study lights and shadows without having to initiate a full render. This can be very useful for exterior shadow studies or interior lighting analysis, especially in design vis situations. In order to take full advantage of review technology, the graphics on your system have to support Shadow Model 3 hardware shading. In this scene showing a city block, create a daylight system using the default options. To make a shadow study, animate the time of day. With Auto Key enabled, start the animation at 6 a.m. and end it at 7 p.m., 1900 hours. Scrubbing the animation shows the animated sun system, but it has no effect on the viewport display just yet. Go to a frame where the sun is high in the sky. Frame 65 represents mid-afternoon. Right-click the shading viewport menu label and from lighting and shadows, choose Enable Hardware Shading. Shift F3 also toggles this mode on or off. The scene turns black. You still need to adjust some parameters. Go back to the lighting and shadows menu and this time choose configure. The viewport configuration dialog appears. Hardware shading is already enabled thanks to the previous step. Turn the option to illuminate the scene with the scene lights, in this case the daylight system. Enable shadows to display the shadows in the viewport. Ensure that Enable Exposure Control in Viewport is active and press OK to exit the dialog. Some areas of the scene now look better, while some others are covered with black patches. This is due to the Sun's orbital scale being too low. Adjust this value to remove any major artifacts so that the scene displays properly. Scrub the animation to see the results of the shadow study. Keep in mind that while you get real-time feedback on lighting and shadows, only direct lighting is taken into account. Indirect lighting requires extensive calculations and cannot be simulated in real-time. Exposure control is also viewed in real-time. Notice how setting the EV value to 13 changes the mood of the scene. Notice how the scene can turn overly bright at times between 12 and 2 p.m. You could compensate by animating the EV value, but this is happening because real-time feedback is limited to a 16-bit buffer. This means that light levels above 65,000 units, like the suns, are clamped in the viewport. However, since we are more concerned with a shadow study than a full render, this trade-off is acceptable. If you prefer to display soft shadows, you can enable this mode in the viewport configuration dialog. You can also display the MR physical sky background as part of the review process. From the shading viewport menu, you need to access the viewport background dialog. You can also press Alt B to that effect. Here you need to specify you wish to use the current environment background and that you wish to display it in the viewport. As you scrub through the animation, notice the MR physical sky background change colors in real time based on the time of day.